Hello, Cephalopods. This is C Mantis. Welcome back to another le episode of Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Um, last time we met this lady who is just calling hay into the distance. Alright, we are supposed to find her daughter. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's scour the town and hopefully we can find her here shortly. complicated shortcut. Alright. So we just wander into people's houses. Nothing interesting in here. Okay, but I do want to check what's in this. I have one shot to do it. Great. Okay, so we're gonna check what's in this shop. Since we have not been here yet. Oh, frick. <laughs> oh, I'm so good at this. Come on, beetle buddy. No, no, no. No, you missed. This is horrible. Okay. Just go up there. Yes, you got it this time. Got it this time, okay. <laughs> did the hard way, but that's okay. Oh man. Wow, you're riding your bike up here the whole time? You must be ripped. Oh, you've come all this way. It's so rare to have a customer here. Beetle's Air Shop is everything you could ever want. Please take a look around. And if you actually buy something, that would be even better. Yeah, I'm sure it would. Okay, what is this? Just another wallet? <clears throat> oh, okay. Um, no, I don't have 300 rupees. What is this thing? It's a life metal. It bestows a bunch of mysterious and mystical effects on whoever carries it. Ugh, jeez. Your stuff is so expensive, man. Okay, can we afford this at least? Oh yeah, I'm buying that that thing. So we've seen tons of bugs and we haven't been able to catch them. So that is something we will be doing from now on. Oh, you're welcome, man. Now what is this last item here? Ah, I'm eight ru I'm eight rupees short. But I'll be back for that sometime. Okay, that's all the shopping we can do here, and this seems like a dangerous area. Anyways, time to head out. Let's go look for Kuki Elk. Hello, kid. Well, yeah, you're, you're just a little squash head. A graveyard. I have... Some idea where the graveyard might be. I think it's over here somewhere. Oh yeah, it's right. That's that's across this bridge. Oh man, we got our first hint. You, you have a speech bubble. Did you hear a child who'd been playing in the graveyard went missing? Can you believe it? Do you really think there are monsters abducting children in our little town? I don't know about that. Because I mean, it's so small. I mean, well, how would a monster even get here? Yeah, exactly. No one is here to abduct them. You know everyone. It's not like people just come from nowhere. Okay, so here's the graveyard. Apparently, nine total people have ever died in this village. I can move these things back a little bit. And I'm not sure what good that's doing, but... I mean... I'm just gonna keep trying it. 
Because I mean, maybe we just have to move tomorrow. Or maybe the secret happens. And the last one. Secret time. Oh, it's just one ruby. <laughs> Uh, the secrets in this game are just amazing. So that's not open. Uh, well, I'm disappointed. Okay, I guess that's all we have to look for up here. So who's downstairs? Anyone in here? Nope. So here's Groose. Let's see what he has to say. He looks down in the dumps. <laughs> Aren't you selfish? Bruce has a really big room. Oh, Zelda, where are you? Yep. That is the look of a heartbroken man. If only he weren't such a dumbass. Oh, here's my room. I don't think there's anything important in here, but let's check it out. And there's always a root beer or two hiding in here. See? Always dependable. So who's in here? Calling and Stretch. Wow, your room is really tiny compared to Gruss's. Wow, aren't you a creeper? Well, not really. It's a, it's a hobby some people have. Sure, I'll, I'll sell you bugs. <laughs> okay. Nope, I don't have any bugs whatsoever. Was that a pun? Let's see what Fledge is up to. Hello, Fledge. Okay, you are not interesting yet. But you will be. Okay, so I think that was the last person. Well, I can talk to you. So everyone knows about Zelda. How about you? How about in here? Hey, the restroom is open. Yep. That's an interesting thing. <clears throat> Let's see this this time. The lumpy pumpkin. Oh, okay. Well, that is interesting for once. The Lumpy Pumpkin. Where the heck is that? Okay, well, I guess we'll just have to find a... 
Okay, I guess I'll just need to fly there. Get away from me, bat. Oops, I don't know how to call for my bird. <laughs> Dang it, are you serious? You can't fly at night. Ah. Uh, this is a bullshit. I know what I'm doing. Come here, Shapufala. Alright, we just have to go east. I have no idea where this thing is. So, I mean, maybe just fly in the general direction of this. Oops. <laughs> Let's not do that. What happens when we fly through that thing? Ooh, is that like a, a boost thing? Oh yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, and that leads us right over here. This looks like a lumpy pumpkin if I've ever seen one. Okay then. <clears throat> so, what have we here? Hey, there's a heart piece up there. I'm gonna want to get up there. Or maybe just fly my bug thing. No, it doesn't look like I can. Oh, you're here today. Okay. How do I get that? Hopefully no one gets mad at me. <laughs> um, sorry. Need the harpies. <laughs> you know, take this first, though. <laughs> oh man. Hi. Um. Okay. Sure. serious okay where is it great big tree in the cemetery. I walked by that tree in the middle of the night. I saw it hit the gravestone nearest the tree, and the gravestone lit up. Okay, so you have to hit it and then push the gravestone. Nearest the tree. Oh no, I don't think so. Nope, I'm most certainly going to the cemetery right now. Well, when it becomes nighttime, anyway. 
Okay, so here we are in the graveyard at night. Hello, monster. You're not the one I was looking for, but you'll do. Anyways, the old man said that we're supposed to hit the gravestone. It glowed, and then we push it. And yes, that opens up this little shed. So let's see what awaits us in there. Anything in this tree? Of course not. Alright. Oh, okay, so it just leads to this little platform. I kind of remember this. Oh. Uh, okay. You're scared too, Penny? Ooh. You do look monster like. Hey, what's wrong? Why do you look so scared? Did something happen to you? Um, so you're not scared at all. So, what am I supposed to do with you? What? <laughs> oh goodness, I know how, much, how bad this must look to you right now, but I assure you I mean no harm. We were just playing the Scream as Loud as You Can game. Isn't that a fun game? Oh dear, perhaps an explanation is in order. My name is Betru, Betro, and I am a monster who resides here in this humble dwelling below Skyloft. But please allow me to correct one popular misconception. While I'm, so, while I'm certainly a monster, I wouldn't dream of terrorizing the people of this town. You see, this adorable little girl is the only one who didn't let loose a blood-curling scream at the sight of me. Since she began to visit me here, I've felt positively jubilant. You see, my heart's only wish is to become friends with the lovely people of Skyloft. But as you can surely imagine, it has proven quite difficult to break the ice when they are struck with paralyzing fear at the mere sight of me. I assure you, nothing would fill my heart with joy more than to be friends with the fine people of this town. But as soon as I try to approach any of them and extend my claw in friendship, they run and scream as though they've seen a walking nightmare. <clears throat> oh right, silly me. I've gotten ahead of myself. You see, there's an old tale among my monstrous kin that goes as follows. It seems that when humans make other humans happy, the happy humans produce a substance known as a gratitude crystal. Gratitude crystals are quite amazing. Just look at them, just looking at them, and knowing there was such gratitude in the world could turn me from a monster into a human. Oh goodness, nothing would delight me more than to become a human. From the moment I laid my regrettably demonic eyes on you, I could tell you had a gentle and generous heart. <clears throat> sure, I'll do that. I mean, you don't look like you're cut out to be a monster anyway. Okay, so I have to help people. What do you have to say? Okay. I'm sure your mom won't ask any questions that I'll have to reveal. Anyways, I thought we were getting into like a secret dungeon area, but I guess not. No one ever tried to get into this place before, though. So, I just have to find Kukiel's mom, and this mystery will be solved. Is this their house? Yes, it is. Yep, that's right. So, oh, your cookie is dead. Yeah, exactly. So, why are we worrying about her? 
<laughs> Actually, you know what? There's gotta be a bed in there. Okay, well that took a lot longer than expected, so I'm just going to leave this episode off here. Um, probably going to cut out, cut out a lot of stuff, but if you like the episode anyway, please leave a like down below, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.